my, I don't have any place to store stuff in my garage and I just throw things down. So as a result, my lawnmower is completely covered up. As soon as it's rain, gets cleared up. I'm obviously going to cut grass. Uh, let's sort through some of this stuff on the lawnmower here when I clean it off. And I thought I'd talk a little bit today about rail fanning. Let's talk about that Kansas City, Missouri virtual rail fan site. I used to rail fan a lot. I haven't been able to get out. I got too many other projects and uh, physical reasons not to be out there too much. But the last few days I've been watching some of this live TV, live railroad camera sites. One of them being the virtual rail fan site. Well, yesterday, a couple days ago, I was started watching it. Yesterday, early in the morning, I was sitting there flipping through them channels and I came across the virtual rail fan site, Kansas City, Missouri, to Santa Fe Junction, to be exact. And, uh, see if these will work. Sit, looking at this railroad trestle bridge, and I thought, well, that train's derailed. Look at them tri-levels, they're crooked. There was nobody around. And I didn't actually see the derailment happen. Well, that works. But I could tell it was derailed. The engines and locomotives were leaning. Well, I'll watch this a little while. Uh, pretty soon, trucks started showing up. I took, I decided, well, I could copy some of this video. And I started saving some of it with a <coughs> with my Corel Video Studio. Now I can't republish it because it's not my film coverage, but it's nothing to stop me from saving some of it for me to see. Now that derailment is one in a million. One of my viewers made a comment to them people sure it ain't their first time down rodeo. And it probably true but I guarantee you out of all the derailments or train wrecks or whatever they've been to they ain't never been to one where you gotta reach up on a trussle and lift tri-levels off the trussle down to the ground that's a, just a one in a million chance <clears throat> I spent years working at train wrecks with Norfolk Southern well actually with the Southern Railway and I got some experience in uh, field of derailments and watching train wrecks. As soon as I saw it, I knew there was there's going to be some heavy equipment coming in. Pretty soon they rolled in with three or four mobile cranes, 18 wheelers hauling all their cables and spreader bars and changing cables and front end loaders, rubber tire front end loaders, bulldozers, you name it there. Air compressors, lights for working at night all shut up on trucks and they were getting ready to go to work. I watched several hours of it where they reached up on the bridge and with two cranes and hoisted the tri-level off the trussle, lowered it down about 75, 100 feet to the ground. And uh, I thought that was really interesting. It was fun to watch. And what I, if you, if you can't get out and do rail fanning, some of that live railroad cam video is the way to go. But I'm not impressed with those people. They're charging people. They're making money off of it for one thing. You can be a member and you can chat with all the people and get on there and act like you know a whole lot about it. Uh, I, I asked them permission to cut, use, republish some of their video, giving them full credit. They said, no, we can't allow that, which is what I understand. I probably would have balked a little bit too if they were asking me. But it, there was no harm in asking. But I enjoyed watching it. What I don't like is uh, 
the fact that they they've monetized their videos and you make money off of it that way they turn right around and charge a membership to be on there give you some kind of perks like let you chat with people i don't know what their perks are but i'm not the least bit interested in it i enjoy rail fan and i enjoy making videos but i'm not the least bit interested in making money off of my viewers i have some my videos are monetized and i make a few pennies here and there but i ain't out to make a killing off of people they even got patreons donating money to them Patreon, somebody to support your channel. I'm gonna go through this crap. Show you that's trash there. But I'm straightening some of this mess up. Let's just see, there's a new well I don't better order to put it back in the box. Bought a new jigsaw because the one I got before is almost impossible to change the blade on. This one here, you just pop that thing up and the blade comes right out. In fact, I better take the blade out so I can get it back in the box. I pick up some of my power tools. My old skill saw is laying here. I started putting, I got my Hercules. Um, miter saw out, put the stand together. I've got it laying over here in the corner. But it doesn't fit on that cobalt stand, right? And I got disgusted and just shoved it in here in the corner. I'll finish working on it at a later date. I got too many other projects going on. Before I actually get to building a deck, I am going to, have to pull out that Hercules stand and finish putting it together. But I had Contrary and Mary out here helping me. We were getting frustrated and I wanted to get started putting that siding on, which I did. Didn't get it painted, but it's been primed painted under the doorway because I wanted to get that canvas put back up there. Hope the wind don't come along and blow it away. But let's go through some of this crud on my lawnmower and see if we can get it cleaned off. Most of it's Harbor Freight stuff and I didn't put it away. As soon as I come back from shopping I throwed it up here. Here's a new level I bought. Let's find a nail to hang that on. Let's put our lay this blade right here. Put our saw back in the box. <laughs> if it'll go back in the box. As soon as the rain dries up, I'm definitely gonna have to. What do you reckon that do flunkers for? I'll have to read the book and find out. All right, Corey, get down in there. Anyway, if you buy a jigsaw like this, don't waste your time with a battery operator unless you're gonna be working in some remote location. You'll spend all your time replacing and buying batteries. And anytime I can use a corded tool, I will. This one here it being an exception. This DeWalt, I am totally impressed with it. I used it with a drill bit in here, drill pilot holes for my siding because it was so hard when we were putting that up there. I'm hammering on the siding nails trying to drive that stuff up there and all I'm doing is mashing my fingers. So I started drilling a hole. Oh, what am I gonna move where? That's the question. Anyway, I'm not gonna stretch this video out too long. I'll show you uh, a few more clips here while I'm going through some of this stuff. And I do appreciate my viewers tuning in. I haven't forgot all my projects. I got lots of them going on. First sunny day we get, we're gonna get out there and do that fountain the solar powered fountain review. Uh, one of my viewers suggested I get out my military air compressor, which is still in the basement. I never finished that project, but I hadn't forgot about it. 
And then while I look, I see projects I need to be doing, including straightening up this garage. I got some bricks over there in the corner, fire bricks. I wanted to build a forge. I haven't got around to that. But Walter's just going to do the best he can when he can. All right. Paint brushes, them do flunkers, hammer, pry bar. This came in handy as heck doing my siding. What's in there? Oh, George Tangers. You try to buy everything you need when you're getting ready to do a project and there's always something you never thought of. What do we got here? Anyway, I've been having a good time at Harbor Freight. There's me a new chalk line because I couldn't find my other one. What's in here? A box of nails. Siding nails. New caulking gun because my other one's in some container around here and I was too lazy to, to go finding it. I bet you I got a half a dozen caulking guns around here. But anyway, we're going to get my lawnmower cleaned off. I had a couple of safety glasses from over to the harbor freight. What all is down in here? More safety glasses. Angle grinder. Let's put that up. I'll spend the rest of the afternoon just putting things up. Anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'll give you a look at the lawnmower here when I get it cleaned up. Well, my friends, I did a pretty good job of getting the lawnmower cleaned off, straightening up over here. I moved quite a bit of junk. You move it from one place to the other and just kind of organize your junk. Put everything away except my framing nailer. I don't know where to put it yet. I gotta find a place to keep it out of the weather. It can sit right there for now. Here's a pair of new gloves I bought from Terry Mary and she ain't warm yet. Some ant spray and magic markers. Take them back in the house. I got the old lawnmower ready to pull out. I've got new oil and oil filters and stuff over there in the bag and air filters. I need to get on here. It's overdue for an oil change. Looked out here last night and there was a big old black cat up there on the top of my truck. I guess he's looking for mice to eat or something. I do hope my pressure treated lumber under that tarp doesn't get warped. If it does, we're going to use it anyway. Looks like the hurricane's getting closer. The rain's coming steady. Everybody ought to have an office chair in their garage. She comes in handy for sitting down on. I just wanted to mention that business about rail fanning on your computer on YouTube. You can certainly see some trains. But I'll be darned if I'm going to buy their merchandise and pay a fee to be on there. As long as I can tune in the channel, I'll watch it occasionally. Best thing you can do if you're a rail fan is go do your own rail fanning. Don't depend on somebody else to tell you where to look. Find you a good place where the trains frequent close to you. Let's go in the house and park our behind in front of the TV. Y'all take care. It's P. Walpar saying, have a good day.